game here tonight. And starting for Jellicoe this evening, here comes Lee England in blue with white numerals on his jersey. His running mate is Dustin Smitty in the backcourt. Smitty number 33. England number 11. And a forward Cody Malicote, number two in blue for Jellico. And a forward Michael Smith, number 31 for Jellico. And the center, number 34, Brent Ayers. Ayers may be the X factor tonight on the interior, in particular when it comes to... Coached by Jeff King. He's assisted by Willie Gallagher and Denard Bertram. Mike Reynolds leads Jellico, assisted by Vic King and Corey Chapman. Jellico in all blue is mentioned. Harriman in all white with blue numerals. For Harriman, it's Gallagher and Davis. Howard. Inman. And love. They were missing somebody. One, two, three, four. Who else were we missing? Gallagher, as mentioned. Tap control, Jellico. Jellico at the basket to our left against a Harriman man to man. On the near wing, Michael Smith. One bounce and it comes back. Inside, hard bounce pass. Malico puts up a soft jumper. It's trickling away. No good. Harriman clears with. Davis to pull it away. Front court. Hammer down the left side. Layup. No good. Rebound off the glass. Saved by Jellico. This may be a horse race here tonight. We're scoreless after 30 seconds. Michael Smith down the left baseline. Those are way back out high to Lee England. For working around the horn against the man-to-man. Then cross court back to England. England will drive through. Kicks it off to Smith. Smith drives the baseline. Back to England. Jellico patient against the man-to-man. England will drive down the lane. Scoops it off the right shot to Ayers for a three. It's no good. Rebound, England throws it back in and off Harriman out of play. Alert play, Lee England to baseline. As he threw it back in, bouncing it off Darius Gallagher. Angelico maintains possession, basket to our left. Brett Ayers is on the right side of the bucket, ready to throw it in. The official tonight, Mark Strange is the referee. The umpires, Gerald Jones and Bo Simpson. Pass inside, intercepted on the inbounds. Here comes Gallagher down the floor. He's fouled by Smith. Change that Smitty. So Dustin Smitty, guilty of the first foul of the game tonight. We played 54 seconds, no points yet. Harriman to the basket at our right. To work it and play on the left side of the glass is Inman. In the return pass to Inman. Jumper by the left-hander. Good from 15 feet out. So Oneida changed that Harriman tonight. It's Harriman. Oneida was Tuesday. It's Harriman up 2-0. Cody Malico brings the ball across the strike. Picked up by Ben Davis, 6-1 junior. Malico to 6-5. Dishes it off left side. England for a left side three. No good. Rebound by Ayers. He's pushed and the ball goes out of play. No call except the out of bounds play. And it will turn over to the Harriman Blue Devils. In a 2-0 game. The backcourt. Gallagher and Davis. Jellico man to man. Up top. Here goes Howard. Driving through for the layup. Good and he's fouled. The very animated... Gerald Jones makes the call. This foul on Brent Ayers, his first, second on Jellico. To the line, Xavier Howard in a 4 0 game. The basket counts. It's Jellico working to stop the penetration of the quick guards of Howard and Gallagher. Free throws good. So Howard has three tonight. And it's a 5 0 game. Into front court, basket to our left, Lee England. Between the circles, bounces it to the far wing to Smitty. Looks inside, out of the free throw line to Malico. Tries the jumper, it's good! Malico puts Jellico on the board with the 15-footer, and it's a 5-2 game. Front court, basket to our right, Harriman. On the far wing, Howard. On top it comes to Davis. Davis loops it to the near side. Here comes Ingram, jumper is in, out, no good. Rebound by a leaping Dustin Smitty, who steps right in to pull it away. Front court pass comes down the right side. Here comes Ayers, blows pass to the defender. Layup, good! We talked about Ben Ayers being the X factor, and here he blows past the 6-5 Shaquille Love for the layup. It's a 5-4 game. Harriman has the ball and loses it out of play. Last touch by Jellico. 
right in front of the Jellico bench, which is uh, across the floor to our right. And right in front of the bench is Inman to toss it in play for Harriman. Ball winds up in the hands of Gallagher, exchanging out high with Howard on top. A moving Ben Davis picks it up. Jellico man to man. Inside pass. Layup is no good, and a push is called. As Jellico not quick enough last time, nor this time, to defend. And uh, Lee England with his first foul. That's three on Jellico. And to the line goes Howard, Xavier Howard, and uh, Harriman at the free throw line for two. First one's no good. A 5 4 game. Harriman leads. 5 31 to play opening quarter. Jellico's combination, Malakode and Ayers and Smith, Smitty and England. England over the far side talking with head coach Mike Kimmel. Second throw by the left-hander is no good. Rebound raked away by Cody Malakode for Jellico. Malico will toss it back to Lee England. will bring it across the black midcourt strike right down the center of the floor. Pass comes near side to the left side to Smith. Hands it off to Malico. Malico picked up by Davis. Left-hand dribble. Now a three on the way from the left wing is no good by Malico. Goes high and up the air off the top of the backboard. Almost the top of the backboard. Recovered by Harriman. Harriman front court. Inman nearly a travel. Bouncing finally deep left corner. Here comes Gallagher. Lost the ball. Stolen by England. England ahead of the pass. England for Jellico. Drives down. Pump. Shoots. Scores! And he's fouled. Lee England with a blow by bucket down the right side of the lane. And I'm not sure who the foul was called upon. Harriman for certain. It may have been Gallagher. We'll check that for you. Free throw good by England. England has three. Jellico has its first lead at 7-5. to five. Jellico on a 7-0 run after falling behind 5-0. We're at the 450 mark of the first quarter. Here's Davis down the lane. Kicks it back out to the far wing to Inman. Inman now back to Davis. Davis will lose the handle. Almost stolen by Malico. Right in front of the Jellico bench to a crapping Mike Reynolds. Harriman maintains possession. Behind the back dribble. Xavier Howard, fans wanted to travel. At least the Jellico fans did. No call. 4.31 to play. First quarter. On top. Jumper for three is missing away. And a push is called. This is against Jellico. Change that. Harriman. Harriman. So quickly, Harriman commits the foul. This. We're going to have to check on that. Okay, that is on Shaquille Love, his first. Unofficially, Gallagher with the other foul. Two fouls against the Harriman Blue Devils. 4.20 to play. We're in the opening quarter. 7-5, Jellico. Lee England with the right-hand dribble across the midcourt line down the left side. Kicks it up to the top of the circle to Cody Malico. Malico will make the move on Davis. Spins at the free throw line, then backs back out with the dribble near the center court circle. And Malico will put it in play again on the dribble. He'll go left, now right, between the legs. Dribble to the free throw line, spinning shot. Extra steps called on Cody Malico. As Mark Strange makes the call, he's the lead official tonight. He's the referee, and it's turning over to Harriman. 3.58 to play first quarter. Jellico 7, Harriman 5. Jellico in a 7-0 run. Up top, Gallagher. Now the pass comes to a moving, shooting, scoring Inman. Inman down the left side of the lane. It's a 7-7 game. We're at the 3.42 mark of the first quarter. Here comes Lee England. It's the Harriman's first points in a long, long time. England will hand in exchange with Smitty. Now England hands off to Ayers for a right wing tray. It's short. All there, white shirts. Leaning, stretching rebound by Darius Gallagher for Harriman. Front court. Harriman down the left side. Driving layup. Shot is good. I'm not sure how he did that. Xavier Howard went in among the giant Brent Ayers and got the shot away and in the bucket down the left side. It's a 9-7 Harriman lead. Jellico's ball in blue across the stripe. Push pass comes near side in the wing to the block left near side. Malicote. Malicote thought about a skip pass. Now works the baseline. Spins. Throws it back out. Travel called again against Malicote. So this is the third turnover by Jellico. As Harriman will take possession up 9-7 over Jellico, 3-0-4 to play first quarter. So Cody Malakota a little frustrated, and I think the Jellico fans are with back-to-back travel calls against the blue and white. Here comes Harriman. Top of the circle. Gallagher to a moving Inman. Inman back to the very quick Xavier Howard. Howard to the deep corner to Davis for a three. It's no good. Rebound all blue there. Cody Malico clears it away as Gabe Mitchell, the first sub in the game, is in for Jellico. Coming out is Michael Smith. Change that. Dustin Smitty 
Now Mitchell will send it to the far side to Ayers. Back on top, Mitchell. Mitchell will push it to the near wing to England. Man-to-man -man all the way. We'll probably see that all night tonight by Harriman. Now Gabe Mitchell on the right side of the key. Finds Ayers for a right wing tray. It is no good. Rebounded by Harriman at the end line. And stolen by England. And a travel is called against Harriman. I thought England had stolen the ball from Gallagher, but instead Gallagher was stretched out body length on the floor and is called for the extra steps. Angelico maintains the possession. Basket to our left as we face that bucket on the left side. Air smacks the ball to work it in play to Gabe Mitchell for a left wing three. It's a long miss. Tapped out and over the top they call Cody Malicote with a foul. So Malicote for Jellico picks up his first foul. For Jellico, Malicote and England, Smitty and Ayers, each with a foul. For Harriman, it's Gallagher and Love with a foul apiece. 9-7, Harriman. It's not been the hottest shooting of games tonight. Harriman going to double overtime for its win over Wardburg on Tuesday. And Jellico using up 76 points in its win over the Oneida Indians. Here we're just under two minutes to play. Jellico in that uh, man paint. Steal by Malicote at the baseline. To Gabe Mitchell up the far side in a hurry. Mitchell, left, now right, drives through, layup is no good. It's ball swatted out of play, and it will stay with Jellico. Gabe Mitchell at 5'7", plays like he's 6'7", but boy, oh boy, is he quick. Basket to our left, Brent Ayers on the right side of the bucket will smack the ball, work it in play to the far wing to Gabe Mitchell. Finds Malicote top of the key. Malicote will put it down with a left-hand dribble. Spins at the free throw line, and extra steps again called on Cody Malicote. And Mike Reynolds is saying they're pushing him. Where's this coming from? Exchanging uh, words with Gerald Jones. Change that with Mike Strange, the referee tonight. And uh, three travels tonight on Cody Malicote. Very, very uncharacteristic. And uh, again, maybe the eye of the official is seeing something we're not seeing. Here's Love at the baseline left. He crossed over and he traveled. Turnover, Harriman. So that's the third Harriman turnover. Jellico has committed four miscues. It's a 9-7 game. Harriman ahead. Jellico led 7-5 on a 7-0 run. Since that point, a couple of points by Jellico. That's it by Harriman. Austin White, 6'4", junior, ready to check in for the Harriman Blue Devils. Front court, England. Hands it off to Ayers, who will wheel to the free throw line. All the way through the lane, lays up a shot, and scores it! Brent Ayers with four. As Ayers for Jellico gives his team a 9-9 game with Harriman. We're at the 62nd mark of the first quarter. Front court, basket to our right. Ben Davis on the far wing for the Harriman Blue Devils. Stops his dribble. Rifles it down low to Love. Love one bounce, puts up a shot. Good. Love right in front of the bucket. Hard to stop. The wide body at 6'5", 300 pounds. He'll probably be playing left tackle for the Kentucky Wildcats in the fall. If not, maybe a red shirt for him. Gabe Mitchell back the other way, 11-9 Harriman. Here comes England on a driving layup. It's no good off the right side. Harriman clears with the rebound. 34 seconds to play. Left hand push pass to front court off the dribble. Comes to Inman. He throws it deep near corner. Shot on the way for three. It's good. That's Gallagher. Gallagher's first points, 14-9. Harriman matching its largest lead of five. Front court, Gabe Mitchell. Left side of the key. Leads the pass down low for Malico. Lays up a shot. It's no good. Partially blocked. Well, it wasn't blocked. It was more of a hold. And by the offender, Shaquille Love. That's the second foul on Love. Fourth on Harriman. To the line, Jellico for the first time tonight. Here it is, Cody Malico with two points. First toss by Malicote. Good. Boy, he shot that one hard, and it rattled home hard. Thought it might pop out of the cylinder, and it didn't. So here comes the other big man, Austin White at 6'4", and Shaquille Love checks out. Love has given up two driving layups by Brent Ayers. Second, Malico toss, misses away to the near side. Ayers scrambles for it, can't get it. It's Harriman's Inman to the front court with the basketball. Driving all the way through the lane, puts up a shot. No good, it goes out of play. He lost control, and it was Michael Smith with the defense. And that has to be Michael's mother sitting in front of us holding up the Michael Smith picture. It worked. 14 to 10, Harriman, five seconds. Jellico front court. Here comes Gabe Mitchell with a three try. No good. Rebound, Harriman at the horn, and we played one. At the end of the first quarter, it's Harriman ahead of Jellico by a score of 14 to 10. You're following the Blue Devils tonight right here on 1450 WLAF Radio and 1450WLAF.com. At Afton, Tennessee, Region 1's championship game featuring Cloudland and Hampton. And why I mention that is that uh, the winners and the losers will match up on Monday night. Should Jellico win tonight, the Devils will play at home for a final time this season. Monday night at 7 o'clock, we'll send you the broadcast. Should Jellico lose this evening, 
The Devils will play at either Cloudland or Hampton in Upper East Tennessee. We'll still send you the broadcast beginning at 7 o'clock on Monday night. For Jellicoe, it's Malakote and Smitty. Smitty's back in the game. Smith and Mitchell and England. For Harriman, it's Gallagher and Davis. Inman, also in the game, is Howard and Austin White, the combination. Harriman's basketball, basket to our right. Jumper for three, near side, no good. Rebound, Davis powers it back up, and a block is called in the foul on Malakote. So a quietly crying Cody Malakote to no avail. Doesn't get any help, and here's two fouls on Malakote. He cannot come out. Jellico can ill afford to take Malakote out here. He's still on the floor at 14 to 10 to the line. Is Ben Davis for two. Davis toss, no good. That is the fifth foul against Jellico as a team. Harriman unofficially with three team fouls. Ben Davis wearing jersey number 12 and white. Back to the line. Tosses up the free throw. It's good. So Davis gives his team a five-point lead again. And that's the largest lead by Harriman now for three times at 5-0, 14-9, and now 15-10. Jellico's led by a couple at nine at 7-5. Front court, Smitty on the baseline right. Quickly back around and comes to the top of the key to Mitchell for a three good. Boy, he put that one up with all he had. It was worth it. First Jellico three, 15 to three, 13. 15, 13, Harriman with the ball. Jellico trapping an amendment and a 1-3-1. Front court steal. It comes to Smitty. Smitty turns, lays it up. The goal off the glass from the left side. Dustin Smitty has two. We're all leaving at five. A 5-0 Jellico run. Front court, Harriman. Jellico in a 1-3-1 trapping defense. Deep left side, it goes to White. Puts up a shot, no good, and a foul is called. It's on the floor before the shot. And this foul is tagged against Jellico. This, I think, is on Mitchell. That's Smitty. That's the Smitty's second tonight. So two Devils, Smitty and Malico with two fouls apiece. Harriman's ball, skip pass near side, goes out of play. No, save back in. And almost a steal by Malico. Malico steals it to Smitty, to front court. Two on one break to England, right side. Puts up a shot. Oh, just missed away in a circus shot as he was fouled. He spun back as he went up in the air to make sure he gets two shots out of it. And the ball nearly, nearly went in as this foul is tagged on Darius Gallagher. And that is the first on Gallagher. We had him tagged with two, but unofficially. But now officially he has one. Ethan Shelley steps in for Jellicoe to replace Dustin Smitty. 15-15 game. 6.46 to play first half. Basket to our left is where Jellicoe's operating. Malico will toss it and play from the right side of the glass into a moving Michael Smith. Turns and fires an 18-footer from the corner. No good. Rebound yanked away by Harriman's Austin White with a big black mohawk. And he is about as slow moving as Love is up and down the floor. He's uh, quite a big fella. Skip pass to the near side for Harriman. Harriman driving through. That's Howard for a jumper. Good from right over the top of Cody Malico. Howard has seven to lead his team in the game. It's a 17-15 game in favor of Harriman. Jellicoe's ball. Front court with the right-hand dribble. Is Lee England. Pushes it to the far side. On a pass to Gabe Mitchell. Mitchell drives to the free throw line. Loses control. Ball is lost and nearly a travel. Ball is still loose. Here comes Harriman saving it in front court. Harriman driving through. Inman. Stop. Jump. Stop. Shot. No good. White with the follow. No good. Rebounded by Jellicoe. Partial block by Cody Malico. Shelley with the ball. The front court. It comes to England. Driving through for a layup. Is no good. Follow. Got it. And he's fouled. Lee England with another blow by bucket attempt. Puts up the shot. Couldn't get it to fall. He followed it, and it goes through, and he's fouled. England leads Jellico with five, and possibly six on the way. This is the second foul on Darius Gallagher, fifth against uh, Harriman. It's a 17-17 game. England, soft touch, good. England has six to lead the blue and white clad Jellico Blue Devils, and Jellico's back in the lead, 18-17. This one will go down to the wire, it appears, and that's a good thing. Front court, Harriman, basket to our right, operating out high. New man of the game, Tyler Dishman, senior at six feet. Ben Davis bounces deep, far corner to Love. It's stolen away, almost, yes, knocked away. Ethan Shelley knocked it off Austin White out of bounds. I said it was Love, it was Austin White, and Jellico takes possession. England and Mitchell, the backcourt for Jellico. Up front, it's Smith and Shelley and Malico. Malico positioning at the block on the near side. The basket to our left. England will blow right back to the bucket. Lays up a shot. Too soft. Rebound. Smith back up. No good. He's fouled. Michael Smith picking up where he left off on Tuesday. 
Had a bushel of rebounds, in particular at the offensive end, and here Michael Smith with two free throws upcoming. This foul is against Harriman for the sixth foul tonight. And it's really tough to pick up. We're across the way from the scorer's table to pick up on the foul. Smith free throw, good. Smith rattles home his first free throw and first point tonight. Austin White leaves looking very winded. Darius Gallagher with two fouls is back in the lineup for Harriman. 19-17, Jellicoe in front. Second toss, largest lead tonight by the Lewin White as Smith knocks this one right through the ropes. 20 to 17, Jellicoe by three. Cody Malico gets a breather. Brent Ayers checks back in, joining Shelley and Mitchell, Smith, and England. Jellicoe matching up in that 1 3 1, working the baseline as Gabe Mitchell up top on the 1 3 1 is Lee England. Ball is kicked away by England on an alert play, trying to get it away from Dishman. Can't do it. In the middle of that 1 3 1 is Brent Ayers. To his right is Shelley. To his left is Smith. A 1 3 1 zone. Jellicoe will trap out of that at times. This is the defense the Blue Devils used Saturday night in the win over Midway. Nearly a travel by Harriman. Bounce pass near side. That's Howard. Zings into the free throw line to Davis. Davis touch pass to Dishman. Now it comes to Gallagher. Driving down low for a pass and a shot. Good. Demetri Inman with a lay-in on the left side. And uh, Harriman working it quite well. 20-19, Jellicoe. Inman tonight with six. Best in the game for Jellicoe. England with six. Xavier Howard these all scorers for Harriman. And the game with seven. Front court, Jellicoe. Man-to-man by Harriman. That's probably going to be the story all night tonight. Jellicoe opening the man, picking up a couple of quick fouls on Malakote and Smitty. And now the ball is knocked out of play on the far side, right in front of the Harriman bench. Head coach Jeff King. Very successful program here for the Harriman Blue Devils. The Jellicoe Blue Devils led by Mike Reynolds. Deep to the right far corner comes to Ayers. Drives the baseline, puts up a shot. No good. Rebounded by Harriman. Steal by Jellicoe. England with the steal. Pump shot in the lane. Shot won't go, and a blocking foul is called on Harriman. So this foul is tagged. We'll have to double check on this. This may be on Ben Davis. Ben Davis is first. 20 to 19. Lee England just back at at the line after a free throw. This one's good. England has seven tonight. He and Michael Smith. Two for two at the strike. Malakote one for two. Second toss by England. Oh, that's beautiful. England, great backspin. Has eight. Jellicoe matching its largest lead of three at 22 to 19. Malakote on the bench with two fouls for the blue and white. Front court, Harriman. Driving through is Inman. Throws it to a trailing Davis. Puts up a shot right side of the lane. At the bucket, no good. Rebound, Jellicoe. Smith clears to Mitchell. Mitchell sends it to the right wing to England. Stops, has it knocked away. Stolen by Harriman. Here comes Harriman. Two on two break. Inman working on Mitchell. Layup, good. Inman has eight to lead all scorers. It's 22-21. Change that England has eight as well. Ball is knocked out of play at the inline. Back to our left. Last touch by Harriman. Jellicoe maintains possession. Inman has eight for Harriman. England has eight for Jellicoe. At the basket to our left, Ethan Shelley is down on one, his left knee, tying his right sneaker. Change that. That's Lee England. Brett Ayer to work it in place. Smacks the ball hard. And it comes to Gabe Mitchell on the far wing. Mitchell wheels out with a dribble. Sends it to England who cradles the ball and is hit between the circles. Now to Mitchell. Inside pass goes to Ayers. Driving layup. It's good! Down the right side, Ayers. Ayers has six interior points. And Jellicoe again matching his largest lead of three. 24-21. Three and a half minutes to play until halftime. Dwayne Wilder. Sports editor at LaFollette Press. Our guest coming up at the mid-game break. 1-3-1 1-3-1 trapping defense by Jellicoe again. It's working to the near side. Howard inside pass. Intercepted. Air steals it away. And Smith saves it for Jellicoe. To Mitchell. Across the strike. Mitchell will hand it over to England. He'll operate with one hand on his left knee and the ball cradled on his right hip. He'll put it on the floor and bounce it. Hands it off to a moving Ethan Shelley on the far wing. To between the circles it comes to Mitchell. Between legs dribble. He'll drive to the free throw line and he's pushed by Dimitri Inman. That's the first on Inman. It's a one plus one for Jellicoe. With Gabe Mitchell stepping to the stripe, number 22 in blue. As Lee England heads over to talk with head coach Mike Reynolds. And I think Harriman's called timeout. And that's the case. So everybody getting a break. Jellicoe fans rising to their feet. And my, oh, my, what a Jellicoe crowd. It sounds as if it's a Jellicoe home game, and that's good. 24-21, Jellicoe in front of Harriman. Here's how the game is going for the... Jellicoe Blue Devils playing here on the parquet floor at Pickle Gymnasium in Harriman. 
Harriman winners of District 3. Jellico winners of District 4. Adam Smith working feverishly on plugs. Maybe we're in good shape here. To the line, Gabe Mitchell. Left hand dribble, right hand shot. Good. He'll get a bonus. Gabe Mitchell has four tonight, including Jellico's only tray. Jellico's largest lead now to four, 25-21. Left hand, one bounce, right hand shot. He is hitting away no good. Rebounded by Harriman. It's cleared by Inman. And a steal by Ayers almost as Gallagher regains it for Harriman, then throws it to Howard, not expecting it. To Inman, driving, he double dribbled. Yes, sir, you did. Jellico takes it back, ahead by four, looking for more. That's the ninth turnover Jellico has forced against the Harriman Blue Devils. Jellico has really changed the complexion of the game when it came from the man-to-man to the 1-3-1. One, one. one, it's uh, really picked up the intensity. Two, it's helped cut down on Jellico's foul problems. Malico with two and Smitty with two. Malico still on the bench. Front court, here's Smith down the left side. Stops, jumps, shoots, misses. Gets his own miss. Puts it back up off the glass. Count it! Michael Smith. The game's won on second shots, and Jellico's winning by six, 27-21. 2.18 to play till halftime. Front court, Harriman, basket to our right. Jellico in that 1-3-1. Looks like he's gone back to the man-to-man now. Ethan Shelley trapping the far side with Mitchell. Jumper on the right side for three, no good. Rebounded by Gabe Mitchell. High at 5-7 to pull it away. And Jellico with two minutes even to play in the first half, ahead by six, his largest lead. Here's Ayers for a three, right side. Good! 6-5, Brent Ayers knocks down Jellico's third three. It's 30-21. to 21. Jellico on a 15-6 run. Jellico is lighting it up tonight. Still in the 1-3-1, it appears. In the middle, it's Brent Ayers. Everybody's standing, and so are we. Here comes Ben Davis, bouncing into the deep corner. Flick pass back into Davis. Across the four goes to Inman for a shot. It's good for three. Change that. That's Howard. He's the first player in double digits tonight. 24. Change that 30 to 24. Jellico by six. Once leading by nine. At 30 to 21. Missed by Jellico for three. Here comes Harriman with the rebound. 112 to play in the first half. Jellico stays in that 1 3 1. Up top, exchanging Gallagher. Throws a deep left side to Howard. Back out. Howard for a three is no good. Rebound tipped away and saved by Michael Smith of Jellico. Under a minute. Here comes Gabe Mitchell in a hurry. Down the left side. Ball was thrown away. Restolen. Then restolen by Harriman. And now restolen by Lee England. Restolen by Harriman in front court. Flick pass comes to Howard. Tries to throw it to Davis. Out of bounds. On the near sideline. The 10th. Harriman turnover. And Jellico up by six. As we close down the seconds of the first half at 47 ticks away. Jellico's basketball. Harriman stays in the man-to-man. Harriman appears to be a bit fatigued. As starter Shaquille Love and his backup, Austin White, both on the bench. Jellico may be holding it for one. Gabe Mitchell and Lee England exchanging up near the center court line. Five-second count is on. England will start bouncing the ball. Will work down the right side of the lane. Kicks it off deep corner to Shelley. Back on the far wing it comes to England. Basket to our left. Jellico operates. 26 seconds to play to the deep corner to Shelley. Stalling through the lane is Ayers. Takes the pass and block right turn. Shoots. Scores! There's the first devil with 11 tonight in double digits for Jellico. He has 11. Howard has 10 for Harriman. 32 to 24. Jellico with his eight point lead. Eight seconds. Harriman bouncing it deep far side. Puts up a shot. Good with four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Shot away. Counts if it goes. Just missing from half court by Michael Smith. And Jellico leads by six at the break. The game was tied at 15. And when Jellico caught Harriman at 15, the game has not quite been the same. Jellico was 17 points. Harriman has put up 11 since it was 15-15. In the middle of that, Jellico had its largest lead at 30-21. to So basically a 15-6 run sprung Jellico into a, what you would consider a, a good lead here at halftime. What's well, been a very close game. In the first quarter, Harriman outscored Jellico 14-10. Then in the second quarter, you can put a microphone in their hand, so the guy's reaction was, the hell you said. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, so. let, I, I've got to ask you, we talked about Brent Ayers being the X-Factor tonight. It looks like he has been that in the first half. What happened at halftime? What was talked about at halftime? You can tell us quickly before we get the second half going. Well, basically, <clears throat> we got to get Cody more involved in the offense. We've got to get the ball into the paint and penetrate. They're playing a great defense. They're denying the ball into the paint, which is what they're trying to do, prevent us from doing what we do. But it's what a good coach does. Uh, 
and, and not give up the baseline. We're going to come out in the one-three-one again and, and see if we can stay in it. Now at halftime, he's a good coach. He's going to have them ready to play. Thanks, Coach Vic King. Yes, here we go. Jellico with the basketball to start the second half. Missed shot. Rebound back up. No good. Tip again. No good. Tip again. Off the top of the backboard. No good. As the violation there is it hit the uh, edge of the backboard at the top, and it turns over to Harriman. 32-26. to Jellico once trailed 15-10, to has reeled off 22 straight points to lead 32-26. to Well, not 22 straight points, but 22-11 uh, to 11, the run for Jellico. Inside pass. Love. Layup. Good. Love sprung free on the bottom of that 1-3-1, one, one, and Jellicoe could, could not get to him. It's 32-28. Harriman lead, changed that. Jellicoe leads with the basketball. Jellicoe basket to our right. Third quarter score from Afton, Region 1 action. Hampton leads Cloudland 25-20. These two teams will match up with Cloudland and Hampton on Monday. Driving through, airs, push shot, no good. Rebound yanked away by Love for the Harriman Blue Devils. Front court. Ben Davis loses control, throws it back in. Last touch by Smitty, out of play. And Smitty went up, and it came off his arm. And boy, Love uh, changed that Davis, hit the deck hard down to the baseline left. Basket to our left is where Harriman operates this second half. The inbounder, Inman, on the right side of the glass, bounces it in to Gallagher, turns, faces the bucket, throws it away. Stolen by Lee England. Three on one break. England to the left side pass. Smitty drives up for a layup. Good! Smitty on the left side of the glass with the right-hand shot. And Dustin Smitty has four. Jellico back by six. Its largest lead again this evening. Front court. Bounce pass near corner. That's Howard on top to Davis for an 18-foot three. Good. 18-foot two. It's good. So Davis has his first bucket tonight. He has three. 34-30. Jellico by four. Lee England saunters across the midcourt line. Right-hand dribble. The three interior fingers taped with white tape. Here's Malico for a three. Left wing. No good. Rebounded by Harriman. Love clears up the near side to Inman. Inman to the lane. Throws it across the lane to Love. Driving through. Puts up a shot. It's no good. Rebound raked away by Dustin Smitty for Jellico. And Lee England with the right-hand dribble. Those uh, high blue knee socks. Knee-high blue socks. Driving shot by England. No good. Rebound by Malico. And over the top is Love. We'll have to check this on Shaquille Love. This may be his fourth. We're thinking third. That's his third, not his fourth. So here comes Austin White back in. Shaquille Love checks out. White is 6'4". Love at 6'5", 300 pounds. Jellico's basketball. Baseline left. Malakote stops, jumps, shoots, misses. Rebounded by Ayers. On the right side, layup. Good. Ayers has 13, and our X factor continues making the difference. 36-30. Jellico back by 6'5", 40 to play third quarter. Front court, basket to our left. Harriman with the ball against the 1-3-1 by Jellico. On top, it's England on the baseline. It's Smitty running that 1-3-1. Pass to the free throw line to Davis. To the near wing to Inman. Down low it goes to Howard. Howard is bumped by Smitty. Smitty's like, what happened here? Smitty explained to the official and uh, to no avail. This foul is the third on Dustin Smitty. So this is big because it comes with a lot of time to go. 5-26, third quarter. Harriman basketball down by six to Jellico. 5-20 and counting third quarter. Ben Davis hooks the pass to the near side. This is Gallagher. One dribble. Running pass to Davis for a three. Right wing. Good. Three. Davis has awakened. He has six. 36-33. Harriman's clawed back to within three. Front court. Lee England. Right hand dribble. Kicks it back to Smitty. Smitty will work on a dribble to the right side of the lane. Then the trick it back across to Ayers. He'll drive the paint. Running shot. In and out. No good. White with the rebound for Harriman. Harriman can tie, or perhaps get closer to this trip. Here comes Inman, lost the handle, saved by Howard, and a foul is called on Malakote on a reach. So Malakote now with three, so two Blue Devils, Brent, uh, Dustin Smitty and Cody Malakote, each with three, and 4.48 to play third quarter, and Gabe Mitchell checks in for Smitty. Goes over and chats with head coach Mike Reynolds. So Jellicoe's combination is Mitchell and Malakote airs England and Smith. Almost a steal by Mitchell. Resaved by Harriman's Davis. And it is Mitchell working the top of the 1-3-1. And boy, is he dogging and really dogging Gallagher at the midcourt line and finally is tagged with a foul. So Gabe Mitchell picks up his first foul and he got his money's worth there because he was just uh, pounding Gallagher for all it's worth on the near side near midcourt. It's going to be Inman to toss it in play. Throws it to... 
the center circle to Davis. Davis looking and finding Inman. Change that. That's not Inman. It's Gallagher. Steal by Jellicoe. Ayers. 12th turnover and restolen by Harriman. So Jellicoe with the miscue. So eight turnovers, Jellicoe, E12 for Harriman. Inside pass, one bounce, one shot, block. This may be Malico. If that's the case, that's four. Cody Malico with a block from behind. Ethan Shelley ready to check in for Jellicoe. So that is on Brent Ayers instead. That's the second on Ayers. Malico already has three. He and Smitty with three apiece. Gallagher at the line. Change that Howard to the line. Left hand to free throw. First of two. Pops in. Pops out. Howard has 10 to lead his team. Best in the game is Brent Ayers for Jellico with 13. Cody Malico hustles out. Here comes Ethan Shelley checking in. Shelley joining Ayers in England. Mitchell and Smith. Back to the line. The left-handed is Xavier Howard. 6'1 sophomore. Two dribbles. Spins the ball. Flexes the knees. Launches the shot. It's no good. Off the back of the iron. Rebound saved by Jellico on the near side. Then lost out of play by Mitchell. Mitchell went to the third row to save it. Couldn't do it. Great try. White checks out. Love at 6'5", 300 pounds. Checks back in for Harriman. Harriman's basketball. Near side of the floor. Right in front of us. Front court. Basket to our left. Then it comes to Gallagher. Triple team. Bounce pass near side. Davis sets for a long three. Rattles away. No good. Ayers with the rebound. He has it knocked free. Saved by Harriman. Put up and good. And a foul on Ayers. So all of a sudden, three Jellicoe Blue Devils with three fouls. The shot counts. And the officials are getting excited here. As Bo Simpson makes that call, the foul on Brent Ayers is his third. So three Devils, Brent Ayers, Dustin Smitty, Cody Malico with three apiece, and Harriman is pulled within one at 36-35. 4.05 to play third quarter. Jellicoe has three starters with three fouls. And Inman has 10 points, gunning for 11 here. He and Howard with 20 of Harriman's 35 points. Jellico led by Brent Ayers with 13 to the line. Is Howard. Shot, good. Not Howard, but Inman. Inman with 11. Caps a three-point play. It's an even game at 36. Last time the game was tied, 15. Front court, Gabe Mitchell. Left, now right to Michael Smith. Drives the baseline, stops, fades, shot, is good! It was a rainbow! Michael Smith has six. Jellico back to a lead of two. Front court, Harriman to the near side. Left side of the key, inside pass, Love. Love, one bounce, shot is rattling away. Rebound by Brent Ayers. The big redhead cradles it and hands it off to Lee England who dribbles across the stripe with the right hand to front court. England. Near side, Michael Smith. Smith going to work. Spins with the dribble. Looks and finds and leads Ayers. Ayers finds Ethan Shelley, who draws a foul. Shelley on the left side of the bucket draws the foul, and he was in the act of shooting. Goes the line to shoot two. This foul is called on Xavier Howard. So Ethan Shelley for Jellico. His first night in a 38-36 game where Jellico leads. Free throw on the way. No good. What had all kinds of touch. But not enough. 38-36 Jellico. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Third quarter. Second free throw is no good. Rebound by a leaping Inman for Harriman. Front court. Harriman can tire take the lead. Near side. Left hand three. It's no good. Rebound tapped out. Saved by Harriman. Harriman's Gallagher in traffic. Puts it up. Good. Harriman has tied the game. Gallagher. With five tonight, first points of the second half, 38-38. Down the near side, Lee England. Bouncing it inside, Smith. Smith puts it up, chop block, foul call. That's Shaquille Love's fourth foul, and the big man cries to no avail to the officials. This will send Michael Smith to the line to shoot two. Smith tonight, two for two at the stripe. has six points, two in this half. As Ethan Shelley missed the last two free throws. Smith, toss rims away. It rimmed and it kind of spun off the back of the iron then came back toward the front of the iron. Thought it was going to hang and fall in, but it skipped away. Austin White wiping the bottoms of his sneakers. Checks back in for Shaquille Love, who sits down with four fouls. Cody Malakotes on the bench with three for Jellico, as is Dustin Smitty. Second Smith. Toss. Good. Smith has seven. And Jellico has a one-point lead. 39-38. Three minutes even to play third quarter. Winner plays at home on Monday. Loser hits the road. 
but the season stay alive. Skip pass, near side, touch pass down low, shot is blocked by Ayers. Wow. If that wasn't a clean block, but not according to the officials, so Brent Ayers for Jellicoe picks up his fourth foul. So two Devils with three, and now Brent Ayers with a fourth foul as Gerald Jones makes the call, 39-38. To the line, the left-handed Xavier Howard. Dribbles with the left hand, shoots with the left hand, misses. No, he makes it. Howard has 11, his first free throw. We're even at 39. 2.51 to play third quarter. So Ayers with 2.51 left has three foul, four fouls. Second free throw is good by Inman. Uh, change that by Howard. He has a dozen. And it is Harriman in the lead at 40 to 39. First Harriman lead since it was 15 to 13 back at the 725 mark of the second quarter. So it's been a while. 40 to 39. Jellico down by one with the ball. Harriman's gone man to man all night. Left wing Shelley takes the pass. Looks, throws it back out to England. England left side of the key. Now back to Shelley. Deep corner. Trying to spring free Malico is back in the game. Malico playing with three fouls. Ayers is out. England, left side to the corner to Shelley for a three. Count it! He couldn't hit the 15-foot free throw a minute ago, but he knocked down the 22-foot three. It's 42-40. to 40. Jellico back in the lead by two. Front court. Jellico is still in that 1-3-1 zone. Here's White with a jumper from the corner. No good. Rebound snared by Malico for Jellico. Here come the Devils. Lee England with the... Easy right-hand dribble across the black midcourt stripe. He'll work left now, right now, left to Shelley for another three. Left corner, it's missing. Rebounded by Jellicoe's Gabe Mitchell. Mitchell turns and tries a tray. Left side, it rims out. And Mitchell will go after the rebound again. Knocks it in. It's saved back in by Malico to the end line and out of play. As Malico saved it to the baseline, back in and hit in the deep corner. And then continued skipping on out of play on the far sideline. Harriman's basketball down by two to Jellicoe. As Love steps out, change that to Austin White checks out for Harriman. Coming on is Dishman. It's Dishman and Inman and Howard, along with Davis and Gallagher, the five for Harriman. Jellicoe's five in the 1-3-1 up top. It's Shelley on the far side. In the 1-3-1, it's England. In the middle, it's Malakote. On the near side on the wing and the defense is Smith. At the baseline is the very quick Gabe Mitchell. Harriman's basketball. Basket to our left. Double dribble. As Gallagher commits the 13th Harriman turnover. Not sure what he was thinking. He dribbled a couple of times, stopped, started again. 42 to 40. Jellico fans have to like that. 132 to play in the third quarter. Gabe Mitchell with a right hand dribble across the midcourt line. Finds a moving Cody Malico up on the far left side. Malico to the free throw line, quick into the corner to Shelley, hands it off to England. England works off a Malicote pick, scoops a pass to Mitchell, left side of the key. Mitchell drives down the left side of the lane, puts up a shot. It's no good. Rebounded by Harriman. Wow. Thought he had that one. Here comes Harriman back the other way, and a travel before the foul. I thought I saw a travel before I saw a foul. Adam Smith says he did too. Maybe the NBA rules are playing in here tonight. So... So who's that foul on? It's on Jellico, obviously. Okay, Gabe Mitchell picks up his second foul at the free throw line. Shot is no good. We're tied at 42, but Harriman gets the rebound. Shot up and good. Harriman by two. 44-42. Front court, Jellico. Smith in the near side. Smith will spin. We'll throw it back out to England. England for Jellico. 44-42. Harriman. 40 sec- 48 seconds to play third quarter. Jellico dog by fouls tonight. Inside pass comes to Malico in the paint. Fade, six footer, swish! Cody Malico has five. 44, 44. We're 34 seconds to play third quarter. Jellico again, 1-3-1. One, one. Everybody standing on the near side for Jellico. It's not a home game, but the next best thing for the Blue Devils to the free throw line. To far side it comes to Gallagher. Gallagher with 17 seconds. Up top, Davis. Davis skips it on the far side. Gallagher on the wing. Basket to the left is where Harriman's operating. Right in front of us, our broadcast rotation. Six seconds. Gallagher, near side, Davis for a three. Three seconds, shot is good! As Harriman takes his largest lead in a long time at the close of the third quarter. 
Harriman 47, Jellico 44. You're following the Blue Devils on 1450 WLAF Radio, 1450 WLAF.com. In that quarter, it was a flip-flop of the second quarter. Jellico with a 22-point second quarter. And here, Harriman with a 21-point third quarter, including a buzzer-beating tray by Ben Davis. So 21 points for Harriman in the third quarter. Jellico struggled to put up 12. Jellico with a 10-point first quarter. And here it is Harriman 47. Jellico 44. Harriman's largest lead 5. Jellico's largest lead 9. That 9 came at 30 to 21. The 5-point lead by Harriman's come a couple of times. 7.55 to play. Harriman's ball. And a foul is called on Dustin Smitty. Change that. What happened? The illegal screen is what happened on number three, Tyler Dishman. Smitty is 33. Dishman is three. Okay, getting my threes confused here. 14th Harriman turnover. Jellico forcing Oneida into nearly 20 turnovers on Tuesday. Man to man by Harriman. Jellico front court, basket to our right. Deep far side, Smitty. England throws near side on the wing to Gabe Mitchell. Kicks it back off to England. Top of the key. England, one bounce. That's it to Smitty. Left wing inside. Malico layup left side. Yes! Malakote with a six-foot swisher and now a lay in left side. 47-46, Harriman with a one-point lead in the ball. Harriman, basket to our left. Jellico 1-3-1, zoning, trapping at times. Up top it comes to Davis. Davis down the left side of the lane, puts up a jumper from 12 feet out. Good. Davis did not start. The boy, oh boy, has he warmed up in the second half. He has 10 second-half points for a total of 11. 49-46, Harriman by three. Smitty, deep left side, three for Jellico. No good. Harriman rebound, Smitty in a foul. Smitty with a reaching foul on Xavier Howard. And one plus one now for the Harriman Blue Devils. Harriman's committed only four fouls this half to the line. Xavier Howard for one, if he makes it a bonus. His team ahead by three at 49 to 46. Brent Ayers ready to check into the Jellico lineup, as does Shaquille Love for the Harriman Blue Devils to the line. Xavier Howard, couple of dribbles, spins the ball, puts it up with the left hand. Good. He'll get a bonus. Howard with 13 to lead his team. Inman and Davis each with 11 for Harriman. Howard is mentioned with 13 for Jellico. Brenier is with 13, two in the second half, seven from Michael Smith. Cody Malico with seven. Second free throw is good. So 14 for Howard. Jellico with three fouls on Malico, three on Smitty. And four on Brent Ayers. Brent Ayers is back in. It's Ayers and Malakote, Mitchell, Smith, and England. Left side, Ayers. Throws it to England, who's way up between the circles. England down the lane. Will stop, will fade, will shoot, will score! Right in the heart of the lane. Lee England with his first points of the second half has 10. It's a three-point game, 51-48. As Harriman stretched it out to five there just for a heartbeat. Front court, Davis. Left side, Trey, no good. A rare miss. Rebound. Oh, boy. Cradled away by 5'7", Gabe Mitchell among the Giants. He races to front court. Kicks it off left wing to air. To the block left. To Malico. Fakes the pass. Puts up the shot. Is trickling away. Sips it out and no good. As it's no good as he tipped it out at saved by Harriman. Gallagher walks it across the stripe on the far side with the right-hand dribble. Shadowed by official Gerald Jones. Now it is to the deep corner. Now to the free throw line. The pass is knocked away by Michael Smith. Jellico, two on one break. Smith will drive, will scoop, will shoot, will score down the right side. Smith has nine, five in the second half, 51 50 Harriman. Jellico in a little spurt here with 5.50 to play in the ball game. On the far side, Gallagher on the wing. To the deep corner, it comes to Inman. Inside Love puts up a shot, partially blocked, saved by Michael Smith. Smith clears it away for the blue and white. Lee England says, let's ease it across the stripe here. England with that right-hand dribble, the tape wrapped around three fingers on the interior of his right hand. Top of the knuckle, bottom of the knuckle, inside pass goes to Malakote, works the paint, spins, will lay it up, it is no good, gets his own miss, puts it back up, strong and good! For the right side, Malakote has nine, Jellico regains the lead at 52-51. to Jellico on a run, front court. 1-3-1, 6 one Jellico. Front court, Harriman. Exchanging out high, Gallagher and Davis. Gallagher right side of the key, now across the four to the free throw line, triangling it goes to Inman. Jumper by Gallagher, good for three. Gallagher caught it quickly from Inman, who was at the free throw line. 54-52, Harriman back in the lead after filling by one. Front court, Lee England. Jellico, England. Puts up a shot, is partially blocked, out of play at the end line. 
England says, my fault, as England number 11 had the shot blocked by number 11, Darius Gallagher. Jellicoe basket to our right. Michael Smith is on the left side of the glass as we face it. Works it in play to the wing to Mitchell. Mitchell, little head fake, one bounce. That's it to England. Drives all the way through the lane. Good down the right side. England more than made up for the block. 54, 54, 4.30 to play in the ball game. The winner plays at home on Monday. The loser goes on the road in the sectional. Or the Sweet 16, whatever you prefer. Ben Davis, left side of the free throw line, bounces a deep corner. Ball is knocked free, and a foul is called. So Jellicoe's Michael Smith is guilty of the foul. And Smith picks up his first foul tonight. And a one plus one upcoming for... Change that. That's on Gabe Mitchell. That's the third on Mitchell as it was uh, Michael Smith pleading the case of Gabe Mitchell. Smith yet to commit a foul tonight. 54-54 at the free throw line for the Hairman Blue Devils. Demetric Inman. One plus one. Cross. No good. Rebound. Jellicoe. Trailing it away is Cody Malicote. Malicote and Mitchell. Ayers and Smith in England. The five for Coach Mike Reynolds who's standing with arms crossed across the way in his blue golf shirt. Driving down the lane, England shot is going to fall in. It hung and hung and spun and spun and finally fell in. And the foul on Darius Gallagher is his third. Lee England, wow. The last couple of minutes for England, who has 14 now. My, oh my, for number 11. And he caps the play, the three-point play. He has 15. He being England, Jellicoe's ahead by three. Four minutes even to play, 57-54. Everybody in blue on the Jellicoe side standing. Here's Davis, nearly traveled. Jellicoe fans wanted to walk. Now Darius, Darius Gallagher with a three. It's good from the right wing. And Harriman calls timeout. Harriman has three timeouts remaining. Jellicoe has four timeouts remaining. And we'll take a break in the action during this full timeout. 3.52 to play in the ball game. It's Jellicoe 57, Harriman 57. You're following the Blue Devils on 1450 WLAF Radio and 1450WLAF.com. Airman 57, Jellico 57, 352 to play. The Blue Devils, 3 for 3 beyond the arc in the second half. And all three of those have come from so two from Ben Davis and one from Darius Gallagher. Jellico countering with Ayers and Malico, and Smith, England, and Gabe Mitchell. Dustin Smitty on the bench with three fouls. Ayers playing with four fouls. Malico's playing with three fouls. Gabe Mitchell has three fouls for Jellico. Jellico's basketball, front court. Basket to our left. Left side, three! Good by Brett Ayers from the deep left side. Ayers has 16. We've talked about him being perhaps the X factor. Jellico, 60. Harriman, 57. Jellico, 1 3 1. Driving through. Jumper on the way. Good, but the left hander. That's Xavier Howard, who has 16, shot that one in the neighborhood of Cody Malicote, 60 to 59. Jellico by one. Jellico with airs in the deep left corner, deep near side. Smith, a change that, yes, Smith. England, Mitchell exchanging out high. Mitchell, ball high above his head. Sends it near side. Smith, quickly inside it goes to Malico. Malico powers up a four footer. Good. Malicote in double digits with 11, shot that one over Shaquille Love at 6 5. 62 to 59. Jellico by three. 248. Clock rolls. Fourth quarter. Jellico in almost a uh, kind of a matchup here. It's more of a 1 3 1. Deep left side. Block is called on Jellico. This is Gabe Mitchell's fourth, and Mitchell has picked all those up in the second half. And this will send Harriman to the line to shoot one plus one. Five fouls against Harriman, nine against Jellico, now ten. It's the double bonus. So to the line is Di- uh, Dimitrik Inman. Inman, the two tosses, first one is good. He has a dozen tonight. And Harriman has shot a boatload of free throws this evening. The uh, white sneakers with the uh, blue strap across the middle by Inman. Second free throw is also good. So Inman has 13. Howard has 16 for Harriman. Malico calls timeout as he can't get into the baseline as Gallagher was applying pressure. Jellico using a timeout. It's second tonight. Jellico has three timeouts remaining. Harriman has two. Possession error favors Jellico. And uh, Harriman's in the double bonus. Jellico is a couple of fouls away from getting to the one plus one. 
It's Jellicoe 62, Harriman 61. The winner tonight will play at his home venue on Monday. The loser will go on the road to play at either Cloudland or at Hampton. And we'll have a Cloudland-Hampton final for you on the postgame report with head coach Mike Reynolds. So we will know exactly the opponent of Jellicoe on Monday, whether it be at Cloudland, at Hampton, or at Jellicoe. Harriman will either play here or at Cloudland or at Hampton, depending on how the winners shake out this evening. As it was 25-20, Hampton leading Cloudland back in the third quarter. We told you that one at halftime. And here, 2.38 to play, 62-61. Everybody standing, including uh, the broadcasters here. As Jellicoe works in a play baseline backcourt, Malico bounces it into Lee England. Jellicoe with Ayers and Mitchell, Smith, Malico, and Lee England. England across the stripe, exchanging out high with Gabe Mitchell. Harriman stays in the man-to-man. Mitchell will move, will throw it to the left wing to air. Tries a tray, rattles away, no good. Malakote yanks away the rebound. Malakote fades, shoots, misses, and he's fouled. Cody Malakote had that one spin out from the baseline left about six feet out. This is a push on Ben Davis. The second on Davis, Malakote steps to the stripe. With 2.15 left, it's Jellico 62, Harriman 61. Malakote couple of dribbles. The right-hand shot is rattling hard, and it falls out. I thought it was going to stay right there in the webbing, but it came spinning right back out. No good. And Malico tonight, he's been off his game because he's been on the bench with fouls much of the evening. Second free throw. Malico by the right-hander is short. Rebounded by Harriman. So Jellico missing an opportunity here, but still leading 62-61. to 2 to play in the ball game. A very animated Jeff King, the head coach of Harriman, across the way. Here comes Harriman with the layup. Good. Driving through the left side is Inman. Inman has 15. He broke free. 63-62, Harriman. 155 left. Lee, England, and Jellicoe in front court. Posting high is Malico being shadowed by Davis. To Mitchell. Mitchell to the left side of the free throw line. Key. Now running air. Throws it to the near side to Smith. Smith will work his way to the paint. Running shot is no good. A foul is called. A charge against Michael Smith. Jellicoe is not catching any breaks tonight. Smith with the foul and a full timeout call by the Jellicoe Blue Devils. It's Harriman 63, Jellicoe 62. One thirty-eight to play in this basketball game as you're following the Jellicoe Blue Devils on 1450 WLAF Radio and 1450WLAF.com. Harriman 63, Jellico 62, a player control foul for Jellico, charged to Michael Smith. No free throws for Harriman. However, Harriman will have possession up by one with 98 seconds left in regulation. Jellico sends Smith and Malakote, Ayers and England and Mitchell to the floor. Mitchell with four fouls, Ayers with four fouls, Smitty on the bench with three fouls, Malakote playing with three fouls. Harriman with Davis and Inman and Howard. Gallagher and Dishman. A very, very small and outstandingly quick lineup for the homestanding here in the Blue Devils. High pass near side, nearly lost and saved by Michael Smith for Jellico. Here comes Mitchell in front court, driving through, throwing to a trailing air shot. Is good and Ayers is fouled. Ayers down the left side of the bucket, laid it up with that right hand. The big redhead will step to the strike to shoot a free throw. Jellico regains the lead, and for the night, Ayers with 18 points. Seven in the second half, 64-63. Jellico's Lee England is tying his right sneaker with uh, special uh, supervision from umpire Bo Simpson. And now Michael uh, changed that Brent Ayers, stepped to the line to shoot one, 119 to play. The right-hander rebounds, spins the ball, shoots the shot, good. Ayers has 19 Jellico by two, 65-63, 1-3-1, and Gabe Mitchell is meeting it at midcourt, strips the pass, he has the ball, Mitchell to front court, scoops to Ayers, trailing shot, is good! Ayers, back-to-back buckets, Jellico by four, 60 seconds to play, Ayers has 21 tonight, we thought he would be the X-Factor, he's coming through, tip pass in front court, saved by Harriman. Harriman basket to our left, jumper on the way for three, no good, rebound Dishman, Dishman gets the shot, blocked by Malico. And a foul is called. Malakote says, where is that coming from? Malakote went high to sky and blocked the shot. And it's called for a hack. That's four fouls on Malakote. 49 seconds to play. 
It's Jellico 67, Harriman 63. Backup guard Tyler Dishman, senior at six feet, steps to the strike. Two shots upcoming. Jellico on the single bonus, Harriman at the double bonus. Change that. Is the foul on Michael Smith? Yeah, it was a foul on Michael Smith. They okay. called him for holding. Okay, Michael Smith was called for holding. It was not a block foul on Malico. Free throw is no good by Dishman. The upside for Harriman is the clock is stopped. 49 seconds left. Jellico two timeouts. Harriman has three timeouts. Possession error favors Jellico. Jellico single bonus. Harriman double bonus. Second free throw switch. Dishman has his first point, and Harriman calls a timeout. It's tight. It's late. 49 seconds to play. The winner claims the Region 2 championship. But both teams move on to the sectional regardless of win and losing tonight. 67-64. It's Harriman ahead. Change that. It's Jellico ahead of Harriman here on the parquet floor in Harriman, Tennessee. You're following the Blue Devils. This is 1450 WLAF Radio and 1450 WLAF.com. Furniture and appliance, downtown LaFarge. Jellico has outscored Harriman. Five to one in the last minute and ten seconds. It was 63-62 Harriman with two minutes to play. And Jellico has taken the lead here with 49 seconds left, 67-64. Full court pressure by Harriman. Jellico baseline front court. As comes the front court to Malicote. Driving, shooting, missing, rebounded by Malicote. And a push is called on Cody Malicote. Okay, it was on the offense. We thought it was on the offensive player. It's on Harriman. And who's the foul on? It's on Harriman, obviously. Okay, it's on Inman, his second. 67-64, Malico will shoot two. Last trip there, he missed both free throws. The right-hander, number two in blue. Right-hand dribble, left-hand dribble. Two right-hand dribbles, spins the ball, looks at the bucket, launches the shot, short. Rebound by Jellico. Michael Smith with the foul under the bucket. So that's Smith's second foul. Tell you that that's the third on Mike Smith. So Jellico with three fouls on Smitty and Smith, four on Ayers, four on Mitchell, three on Malicote. Harriman has shot a lot of free throws tonight as a result. 67-64, Jellico leads by three, 41 seconds to play. At the free throw line basket to our left is Xavier Howard. Howard, the left-hander, three dribbles, spins the ball, shot is on the way, good. Into the basketball game for Harriman is Lucas Lunsford, 5'11 sophomore. Very quick, very small lineup in for Harriman. Back to the line. Howard has 17. Howard has 18 tonight to lead his team. Best in the game, 21 from Brent Ayers. 67-66. Malico to front court. Down the left side with the dribble. Malico for Jellico. Hands it off to Lee England. Lee England deep corner. Throws it back out high to Smith. 30 seconds to play. Smith with the dribble. Smith for Jellico. He is pushed down. The foul is called. One plus one for Michael Smith, who bounces up on his feet. Okay. And a chance to give his team a three-point lead. This foul is tagged against Harriman's Ben Davis, the third on Davis. 28 seconds even to play. Jellico 67, Harriman 66. Everybody in blue and white for Jellico standing in front of us. We're standing too. Michael Smith throws the strike. At the free throw line, number 31 puts it up. It's good. Michael Smith with 10. Six in the second half. Jellico by two. Jellico sends back in Shaquille Love at 6'5", 300 pounds. And that is Harriman sending in Love back into the basketball game. Smith, second toss, swish. Michael Smith, 11. Jellico by three, 28 seconds to play. 69-66. And timeout taken by the Harriman Blue Devils. A full timeout. So a break for us. From Pickler Gymnasium and Harriman, there's timeout. Jellico 69. Airman 66, you're following the Jellico Blue Devils on 1450 WLAF Radio and 1450 WLAF.com. Baseline backboard, Jellico 69, Airman 66, possession arrow favors Jellico. The double bonus for both teams. It took Jellico a while to get to the single bonus, and here we are in the double bonus. Jellico drops back to the 1-3-1. At the top is Lee England, in the middle is Malico. To his left is Ayers. Now Jellico says we're going to set up in the man-to-man. Man-to-man Jellico. Front court, Harriman. Basket to our left. Down by three. Driving shot put up and good by Harriman. A driving shot by Inman on a layup. And timeout is called by Harriman. 
So Inman has 17 tonight. He and Howard combining for 35 of Harriman's 68 points. It's Jellicoe 69, Harriman 68. So let's reset the stage for you. Jellicoe's basketball, baseline backcourt, down to our left is where Jellicoe working in play. 18.3 seconds left. Jellicoe 69, Harriman 68. Timeouts. Jellicoe has one remaining. Harriman has one remaining. And the possession arrow, which is very critical, is favoring Jellicoe at this stage. The officials tonight, the referee is Mark Strange, the umpires, Gerald Jones and Bo Simpson. Harriman counters with Davis and Gallagher. Lunsford, Howard, the five. Jellico has Smith and England. Mitchell, Malakote, and Brent Ayers. Malakote, the inbounder. Down to our left, on the far side of the bucket, he will operate. Nobody defending Malakote. Pass will come into Gabe Mitchell. Mitchell up the near sideline, racing in a hurry to front court, and a foul is called in backcourt. As Jellico had the numbers, a three-on-one break, and Mitchell is called. He actually draws the foul in backcourt, and will step with the strike to shoot two for Jellico. This foul is on Ben Davis. That's the fifth on Davis. Okay, I had him with only four, so five on Davis, and he's out. The big three-point specialist, Gabe Mitchell, Jellico, 5'7", 140 at the line to shoot two. It should be the double bonus. And uh, they've not put up the there it is. The tenth foul does go up on the board now. As Shaquille Love checks back in for the Harriman Blue Devils. Coming out is Lucas Lunsford. Free throw Mitchell is hitting the back of the iron. Missing away. No good. So Jellico ahead by one. And Harriman with plenty of time. 15 seconds left. Mitchell's second free throw is good. Jellico by two. 70 to 68. And Harriman calls timeout. So plenty of time to go. It's Jellico 70, Harriman 68 for Gabe Mitchell. His first point of the second half. He has five tonight. Jellico in the game led by Brent Ayers with 21. Four from Dustin Smitty. 11 from Mike Smith. Five from Gabe Mitchell. 15 from Lee England. 11 from Cody Malicote. For Harriman, Xavier Howard 18. Dominic Inman with 17 points. Darius Gallagher with 11. Ben Davis with 11. Shaquille Love with 4. And Jellico has one timeout remaining. Harriman is finished with timeouts. Harriman has used all five of its allotted timeouts. 330s and 260s. So 15 seconds left. Jellico leads by 70 to 68. Both teams with a double bonus. Possession arrow favors the Jellico Blue Devils. It's Harriman's basketball. Baseline. Backcourt. Harriman still holding with head coach Jeff King. For Jellico, it's England and Smith, Mitchell, Malico, and Brent Ayers. For Harriman, Gallagher, Dishman, White. White's the big man, a 6-4. Also Howard and Inman, the five. Jellico, some moderate backcourt pressure by Lee England. 13 seconds. 10. Will Harriman go for a two or a three? Far side, Dishman. Six seconds. Inside. Shot put up by Inman. No good. Rebound Jellico. One second. Jellico wins. Jellico wins. Jellico wins. Jellico wins. Jellico wins. wins. The Blue Devils are the Region 2 basketball champions for 2011. Tonight in hostile territory, the Blue Devils do perhaps the impossible. A 26-point fourth quarter. 70 total points. Harriman puts up 68, and Jellico comes away with the win. We'll visit with head coach Mike Reynolds in just moments. As regional tournament honors will be presented to players and then teams. And we can tell you that Jellico will be getting a big trophy tonight as Jellico wins it 70 to 68. As a, a foul was called on that last play, and the officials just uh, ran off tonight, the championship game. As the runner-up trophy is going to be presented to the Harriman Blue Devils. Jellico wins tonight 70 to 68. As Jellico. Grab the lead at 64 to 63. 
with 119 to play, scored six points to finish the game. Harriman put in five. Angelico wins it 69, changed that 70 to 68. So Harriman is awarded the second place trophy. The Class A Region 2 Championship Trophy. Angelico! Jellico posing for photos. It's that kind of night tonight for the blue and white. We will tell you that with a minute to go in the fourth quarter, Hampton leads Cloudland at Afton, 54 to 39. Hampton with a 15-point lead, one minute to go. Looks like Jellico will play the Cloudland Highlanders on Monday at Jellico Gym as Cloudland will bring a very impressive record into that basketball game. Cloudland losing to Hampton tonight or in the process of. We'll send you the broadcast of Jellico and Cloudland, the Highlanders and the Blue Devils, Monday at 7. And uh, this will be the first ever sectional or state or sub-state or Sweet 16, however you want to describe it, home game for Jellico in the history of the program. Lee England, right hand raised, trophy in hand, and Jellico is going to head back to Campbell County with a record of 21 and 12. As Jellico, led by Mike Reynolds, has the winningest senior class in the history of Jellico basketball. And Jellico would like to ride that just a few more games. Jellico with nine straight wins, 15 wins in his last 17 outings. As the all tournament team is being presented here. At Harriman High School. From Wartburg, Zach Shannon. Zach Shannon for Wartburg makes the all-region team. As the bulk of the Harriman fans have filed out. Michael Smith. Michael Smith for Jellico makes the all-region team. Well, what an effort tonight. Smith with 11 points, 7 in the second half, and some big, big rebounds. From Harriman, Darius Donner. Darius Gallagher for Harriman picks up his all-region team uh, trophy. Jake Wright for the Oneida Indians also on the all-tournament team. Lee England, all-region. Ben Davis from Harriman makes the all-region team. We talked at halftime that we thought Brent Ayers could possibly be the MVP of the tournament with his performance here tonight. Brent Ayers for Jellico, MVP, no, all, all region. So Lee England, Michael Smith, Brent Ayers, all region. Dimitri Inman from Harriman makes the all region team. Two more plaques to be presented. From Harriman, Xavier Howard. Xavier Howard makes the all-region team for the Harriman Blue Devils. So three Harriman players on the all-tournament team. So far, three Jellico Blue Devils. Region tournament, most valuable player from Jellico. Cody Malico. Cody Malico receiving a handshake and the biggest of the plaques. As he's looking at Michael Smith and saying, I think you should have had this. So it's Malicote and Ayers and Smith and England on the all-tournament team for Jellico. And proposing for photos, we'll visit with head coach Mike Reynolds here in just moments. As Jellico wins over Harriman 70 to 68. And boy, did they wipe that score off the score clock quite quickly here at Pickle Gymnasium. Jellico improves to 21 and 12. Harriman falls to 23 and 7 only the seventh time Jellico uh, Harriman has lost this season as photos continue to be seen by our school and our community because our our folks sometimes they get uh, they get left out of things because they sit off by themselves but uh, tonight they came through for us big time
center stage. Jellico this evening, and your team continues to impress so many people, me included, about how well it plays as a team. Cody Malico saddled with fouls. Uh, Dustin Spitty getting the foul trouble. Here comes Michael Smith and Brent Ayers and Lee England, and what good minutes from Gabe Mitchell off the bench tonight as well. Certainly was, and all those kids played well, but uh, Michael Smith hitting those two free throws was <laughs> maybe been the biggest play of the game, and uh, and he stepped up, and I've been talking to Michael, and he's gotten progressively better with his free throws through his career and through the year, and uh, plays with a lot of confidence, and that's what you got to do with the kids, and they, they just all done a super job. Our kids are wonderful. This doesn't have anything to do with Mike Reynolds or anything. This is about the kids in this community. Jellico moves on not only with now a Region 2 championship, but your team returns home for a final game this season, but home to the state tournament in the sectionals. It is, and, and a lot of people don't realize that is the state tournament, but now most people think you got to get to Murphy's River being the state tournament, but uh, um, first region championship in school history, first sectional held at home, doesn't guarantee you, and that's what i got to tell our kids. you got to come back and play Monday, but it's a lot better to play it in Jellicoe than go to Carter County. You'll be playing the Cloudland Highlanders, losing tonight uh, to the Hampton Bulldogs, and again, your team will be at home, but uh, uh, Cloudland comes in with an outstanding basketball team from Carter County. They certainly are, and uh, they were their district champion. They beat Hampton in the district championship. Those teams up there play hard. They'll bring pressure, and uh, and bring good shooters, we'll have to defend, but uh, they won't be any better than the Harriman Blue Devils, I promise you that, because that's a heck of a basketball team, And uh, but um, we'll be ready for them, and I'm sure our fans will be ready for them, and we look forward to the opportunity. That's all you can ask for. You start the season, you set a goal, we want to get to Murfreesboro. Well, our kids' <laughs> hard work has put them in a situation to play at home for a chance to go, and that's all you can ask for. We talked about in the pregame that Brent Ayers would be the ex- and I would just throwing that out, thinking that might be the case. Here, Brent Ayers finishes 21 points, and boy, oh boy, did he do some schooling on this basketball floor tonight, I thought. He did, and we knew coming in. Now, they, 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 of course, they set their defense to stop Malico, and they slept. Of course, Cody adjusted the game, and we knew they wouldn't be able to guard Brent or Cody either one once we got on the ball, and both of them done a super job and, uh, and done a pretty good job defensively, considering they were guarding smaller people sometimes and doing some things like that, but just... Uh, Look, we told our kids in, in region championships it becomes a lot about guts. Sometimes it's just who has enough at the end, and we had a little bit more than they did at the end. So. You open with a man-to-man defense, and I thought the game changed. A sloughing man, a okay, man. Okay. And, and I thought that you the, cha- the game changed when you switched to that 1-3-1, which you used so well on Saturday yeah. night in the win over Midway. Yeah, and it, it, it gave in. Some people, you know, think, well, why don't you go on a 2-3 zone? Well, we're a terrible 2-3 zone team. We stand around and, and kind of watch what's going on. and. And you got to have a little length nowadays to play a 2-3 because of that three-point line. So the 1-3-1, one, got, they got standing around a little bit, and they had to make some decisions, and they, they weren't as, as quick with their decisions. And it worked for a while. Of course, they started hitting some shots, and we had to adjust. But it did, uh, it did give us the ability to, to, uh, to keep it going on the first half into the second half. Okay, on Monday night, the game starts at 7 o'clock, and you're going to probably urge fans to get there early, I would presume. Yeah, I would assume uh, Coach Oaks will probably let everybody know what time he's opening the gate. I don't know, but I would get there as early as I can. Now, we have to get half the tickets to cloud them, and then whatever they have left, they'll send back. But we can sell standing room only, too. So we got 1,076 seats. We counted every single one of them, me and uh, <laughs> Mr. St. John and Coach Oaks did. So, so we need a lot more than that. Now, anybody that lives within a 30-mile radius of Jellico, we want them there. And... Uh, and hopefully our kids can, can make the other job. But I'm proud of our kids no matter what happened. They're just phenomenal. And, you know, I, I told our kids as we come in, I've done a little research in the history of in my knowledge since classifications come in. Now, before that, there were some teams that went to state tournament. Basketball period in Campbell County. You take all the high schools. The only two teams that have ever won a region championship game were wins girls in 83 and wins boys in 86. We had teams that went to the state, but they would travel for their sub-state. If to my knowledge, that's what it is. So our kids done something very special tonight and that doesn't happen in our area a lot. And I'm just extremely proud of him. Head coach Mike Reynolds and his Blue Devils. Jellico winning over Hammond tonight, 70-68 to to take the District 4 regular season title, District 4 tournament championship, and now the Region 2 tournament championship. Coach, congratulations. Would you save me a seat for Monday night? We'll save you a seat. And also, let me give a lot of credit to uh, Coach Chapman and Coach King, our staff. Absolutely. Coach, coach Chapman had the scout on this game. And he had them figured about as good as anybody can figure. And they didn't come at us with anything that he hadn't had wrote down. And then we as a staff got together and put together the game plan. And we're a team. Like I said, this isn't about Mike Reynolds. It's about our staff, our kids, and also our fans. we got the best fans in East Tennessee, and I'll challenge anybody to that. Three bus loads here tonight, yeah. and then uh, all the, the car caravan yeah. coming down as well. But uh, when your team, your team just came out of the locker room, and again, it was like a home game tonight before pregame warm-ups, and uh, we're standing much of the game to broadcast the game tonight because everybody from Jellico is pretty much standing this evening. Yeah, we told them before we went to Wartburg, we had a pepper, and I said, we're going to 
take over Wartburg High School. We took over Herman High School. Not, <laughs> it is the home of the Blue Devils. It was the home of the Jellicoe Blue Devils. But, uh, again, and they, and they make a huge difference. I know sometimes people don't believe that. But when you're sitting there with this many people, coming back at you every time you do something. It helps the kids out a lot. The sixth man played big tonight. Coach, again. It certainly did. Congratulations. We will see you Monday for the Cloudland game. All right, thank you. Everybody get out there and let's send this bunch to the state tournament, hopefully. Let's thank do you, it. James. Thank you. Head coach Mike Reynolds and Jellico winning tonight 70 to 68. Jellico improved to 21 and 12 on the season. Airman will drop to...